Hello everyone, welcome back to Timberborn. This is a custom map that I found in the modded section, so I'm excited to see how this one plays out. It looks like in the beginning we're going to have to do everything up on this level because the water's going to back up and then flood this way. Unless the water sources, oh they're down here, so it's going to come this way and then flood over here. So I think I'm going to start with a water pump right up top. You guys have seen this all before, so I'll be back once I get some of the first few things set up. So as I press play, I realize that the water actually can just flow out this way. So it goes all the way down here and then connects with this river. There's actually a couple big waterfalls right behind here. This is the first night. Beavers got a water pump set up and they are just bored. They don't know what to do, so they're just waiting around. And they're just roughing it. They, uh, they don't sleep how they used to. RCE made sure that the devs would change something. Now they sleep much more appropriately. Okay, this is probably one of the weirdest names I've ever seen. Vert. Yeah, I, I don't think I can say that on YouTube. I'm probably going to edit the names list and make sure I get that changed. Leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for the names for the beavers. I did American Presidents for the last one. I'm thinking something America themed, but don't quite know what. It's been a few days and we just got the beavers up to a four well-being level. Probably helps if we got some housing set up. We have some of the basics and we actually deposit so that we don't have power well set up yet. Because if we don't have the dam then this all dries up. We have most of the basics right now and I think we're in a good spot for the drought when it comes. We have a good amount of food and water. Then we also got the forester, which is important in order for us to not run out of wood in the beginning. Now we just need to get some more storage set up for the wood. There's a lot of things that I want to buy right now, but we only have 76 science. So we're going to get another inventor set built here pretty shortly. I want to get some stairs and a platform and then also your workshop set up plus a windmill. But that's all science. And with day 13 beginning, we have the countdown for the drought. I think we're doing pretty good on water. We'll be able to pump some of this, but not too much during the drought. Sometime during the next cycle, I'm going to get some more water pumpers and some more water storage set up. The drought has begun. Shouldn't be too bad. Only three days. We did get a third inventor's hut, and you probably didn't even see the second one get finished, but we're in a good spot. We had enough science to unlock gear workshop. And we almost have enough to get the windmill. Now we do. So we'll get that. And then probably set that up behind this area. No, we're gonna place it right here. Like this. That way, sometimes it'll be able to run at full power, but if it doesn't, that's okay. Next, I'm gonna get the stairs, and then I'm gonna actually try and do some like zigzaggy thing to get up this way. I'm critic. <laughs> I put this in backwards. I've done that way too many times. Well, I get some of the wood back at least. There we go. Okay, well we can pause here because you're not going to be working for a little bit. We survived the drought. Didn't really have any problems, but then again it is the first one. We just built the first double lodge and that'll be helpful in order for us to utilize the most space and get the most beavers. Have a second one set up replaced one of the old lodges. Gonna do the same for this one at some point, but I don't want to have too many beavers because we do have a slightly limited amount of food right now. We have six babies and we have two vacant jobs with quite a few buildings paused. I'm looking forward to them growing up so that they can help fill some of the jobs because we have some injured beavers coming out of this year workshop here. There is one day until the drought and we're in pretty good shape right now. The drought has ended and you can see the water is coming back. We did add another dam. That way we can have this water pumper going during the drought in the event that we need to pump some more water. Although we did install this medium water tank which should give us sufficient storage for now since we're only at 24 beavers right now. So at this point we have a pretty good colony. We have a lot of the stuff set up that we need to including some good production. Next we're going to be getting some scrap metal from right over here and then we'll start building a smelter. But before I do that I want to look at where this is going to go in the future because I think I'm going to get rid of this and then this will be a perfect place to get some dams set up and if we have them all the way at this level then it's going to start flooding everything back here. So I will be moving everything up to a higher level just trying to figure out at what level I need to put it. 
we have the smelter unlocked and I am putting a windmill next to it because it takes a lot more power than just one power wheel. So this will be a little bit more inconsistent but it will produce more power. And I'm going to be starting some more production up here because this will be a good permanent spot to get the industrial section going. And then we can look at getting a gravity battery set up and then in the future getting some large windmills to help get some more power. Since I want to start building some more stuff up here, I'm going to start using this new mod and this is going to be the ladder. I think that that is what I need to do. Okay, there we go. I think that should be good. Oh, and that as well. Okay, if this works then that will allow them to get up here and start building some houses. And I do want to make sure that they can get this all pretty quickly because we are running a little bit low on beavers and we have several jobs paused right now. Unfortunately, it looks like the beavers can't actually build this. I hope it's not because I built this incorrectly. I guess they can't climb up to build it. That seems like kind of a flaw if that's the case. So it looks like the beavers can reach this one right here. And I'm hoping that after they build this, then they can reach this one. Okay, it looks like they can reach it, which is excellent. Then once they get this, that should connect these two houses to the district center right here. As soon as this gets finished, we will have an explosion of beavers because with these two houses connected, that'll add another 12 beds, as you can see right here. But these aren't accessible quite yet. Oh nice, they finished it, and there are some beavers who are going up and down this ladder. So that means we're probably going to have some babies. Oh, yeah, we did have a few beavers born. So after finishing three cycles, I did finally start setting up some rooftop terraces. We have a couple up here with these new houses. And we also have one set up down here right above this carrot storage. I do like the way that these houses turned out. I'm still debating if I want to put something on top of here. And then have like a staircase go up. Like for this one specifically, probably couldn't do too much here other than a roof. Somehow we've been doing really good on food. I feel like we've been having like right around 200, 230 for basically the whole episode. Even with increasing the amount of beavers we have. I do want to set up another farm up here, but we will need to unlock the water dump. We can get this constructed quickly and then after that we can set up another farm which should help bump our food numbers up. I think I'm going to go with potatoes for this one. Since those give you an additional two well-being points. In fact, we can set up the farmhouse right now. Because you can see we have a whopping 10 babies. And it's not going to be long before some of them are growing up. Oh, I just noticed that there is actually... Whoa. There's some huge zigzag stairs over here. And two mines. Plus all of this scrap metal. That is so much. Well, I know where we're going to be exploring at some point in the future. Originally, I was just planning on putting a mine up here, but I might move one to be over in this area. And then again, this is a colossal amount of scrap metal. It'll take us a while to get through all of this, plus this and this. So yeah, I think it's safe to say we are in good shape when it comes to scrap metal. Oh, we finally got the water dump set up, and is this it? Yay! This water dump has a very large radius. And the farmhouse is almost complete, which means that we will have some potatoes planted soon. And we can also get a grill set up. And we can start with grilled chestnuts because we have 20 of those. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. We got through quite a bit and we have a lot set up for this new colony. I'm pretty excited to get this one going because I have a lot of ideas that I want to do on this world. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.